Remember when hosting the Olympics was the ultimate badge of honor? It was the dream of every city to be the center of the world's attention, even if just for a few weeks. Cities used to trip over themselves, desperate for the chance to welcome the world. The competition to win the bid was fierce, with cities pulling out all the stops to impress the International Olympic Committee. It was a chance to showcase their culture, boost their economies, and bask in the global spotlight. Local businesses thrived, and the influx of tourists brought a sense of excitement and prosperity. The Olympics were more than just a sporting event. They were a symbol of international unity and peaceful competition. Athletes from around the globe came together, embodying the spirit of sportsmanship and camaraderie. But lately, that Olympic flame seems to be flickering. The enthusiasm that once surrounded the Games is waning. Fewer and fewer cities are interested in hosting these massive events. The once coveted opportunity is now met with hesitation and doubt. What was once a coveted prize is now seen by many as a potential burden, a financial black hole, and a logistical nightmare. So what happened? How did we get here? Why are cities falling out of love with the Olympics? The reasons are multifaceted and complex. The answer, my friends, is complicated, but it boils down to this. The costs of hosting have skyrocketed, the risks have multiplied, and the benefits are no longer as clear-cut as they once were. And the public is no longer convinced it's worth the price tag. The financial strain on host cities has led to growing public dissent and protests. In the next few sections, we'll unpack the reasons behind this Olympic-sized shift, from spiraling costs and white elephant stadiums to public protests and environmental concerns, and the search for a permanent Olympic home. Could a single permanent location be the solution to these mounting issues? Buckle up, folks, because things are about to get real. We're diving deep into the heart of the matter, exploring the past, present, and future of the Olympic Games. Let's talk money, shall we? It's a topic that often gets overlooked when the excitement of the Olympics takes center stage. Because when it comes to the Olympics, the numbers are truly mind-boggling. The grandeur and spectacle come with a hefty price tag that can leave a lasting impact. We're talking billions upon billions of dollars spent on everything from building state-of-the-art stadiums and athletes' villages to beefing up security and managing the influx of tourists. These costs can spiral out of control, often exceeding initial budgets. And it's not just the direct costs. There are also hidden expenses that can cripple a city's budget for years to come. These hidden costs can be even more damaging than the visible ones. Think long-term maintenance of those shiny new stadiums, most of which will be used once and then sit empty, infrastructure upgrades, and the opportunity cost of diverting resources from essential public services. The financial burden doesn't end when the games do. Then there are the political risks. Hosting the Olympics can bring a city into the global spotlight, but not always for the right reasons. The Olympics can be a magnet for protests, terrorism, and international scrutiny. The heightened visibility can attract those looking to make a statement. Remember the Munich massacre in 1972? It was a tragic event that forever changed the way we view security at the Games. Or the security concerns surrounding the Beijing Games in 2008 and the Sochi Games in 2014. These events required unprecedented security measures. Sadly, these events are a stark reminder that the Olympics can be a target for those who wish to disrupt the peace. The threat of violence looms large over every Olympic Games. And let's not forget the potential for natural disasters, pandemics, or other unforeseen events that can derail even the most meticulously planned games. These risks add another layer of complexity and cost. The COVID-19 pandemic forced the postponement of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, throwing the entire event into disarray and adding billions more to the final bill. The financial and logistical challenges were immense. The Olympics are a gamble and increasingly cities are realizing that the odds of winning are stacked against them. The dream of hosting can quickly turn into a financial nightmare. Now, before you think the Olympics are cursed, let's rewind to 1984. Los Angeles, a city known for its sunshine and Hollywood glamour, hosted a remarkably successful and profitable games. So what was LA's secret sauce? They were smart. Instead of building expensive new venues, they mostly utilized existing infrastructure, including university dormitories for athlete housing. They also secured lucrative sponsorship deals, proving that the games could actually make money. The LA Olympics were a beacon of hope. 
demonstrating that it was possible to host a fiscally responsible and wildly popular games. But here's the kicker. Almost no one followed LA's lead. Instead of learning from LA's playbook, subsequent host cities seemed to fall into a trap of one-upmanship, each trying to outdo the last with more extravagant ceremonies and grander venues. Section 4. The Bidding Wars. A race to the bottom. The competition to host the Olympics became fierce, with cities engaging in bidding wars that drove up costs to unsustainable levels. Countries poured millions, even billions, into elaborate campaigns to woo the International Olympic Committee, promising the moon and the stars. Take, for instance, the bidding process for the 2016 Olympics. The estimated cost of Chicago's bid alone was a staggering $100 million. Tokyo, the eventual winner, reportedly spent over $150 million on their bid. But here's the thing. This money is spent before a single stadium is built or a medal is awarded. It's a high-stakes poker game and the house always wins. Even cities that lose the bid end up shelling out enormous sums, with nothing to show for it but a pile of glossy brochures and a mountain of debt. This bidding frenzy creates a perverse incentive structure where cities are encouraged to overpromise and overspend, knowing full well that they may never recoup their investment. Section 5. White Elephants and Empty Stadiums – The Legacy of Debt the most visible legacy of this Olympic spending spree is often a collection of underutilized or completely abandoned sports venues. These so-called white elephants stand as stark reminders of the game's financial toll. Remember the iconic Bird's Nest Stadium in Beijing, built for the 2008 Olympics at a cost of nearly half a billion dollars? It's now used sparingly, a testament to the challenges of repurposing these grand structures. Or how about the Olympic Park in Rio de Janeiro? once a vibrant hub of activity during the 2016 Games. Today, it's a shadow of its former self, with many venues falling into disrepair and facing uncertain futures. These white elephants are more than just eyesores, they represent a colossal waste of public funds. Money that could have been invested in education, healthcare, or infrastructure is instead poured into projects that offer little long-term benefit. Section 6 the people's games, public outrage and boycotts. As the costs of hosting the Olympics have spiraled out of control, so too has public opposition to the games. The financial burden placed on host cities has become a major point of contention. Citizens around the world are increasingly questioning whether the purported benefits outweigh the undeniable downsides. The promises of economic boosts and global recognition often fall short of expectations. In recent years, we've seen a wave of protests and referendums in cities bidding for the Olympics. These movements are driven by a growing awareness of the social and economic costs involved. Residents are fed up with seeing their tax dollars funneled into mega events while essential services are being cut. Schools, hospitals, and public transportation often suffer as funds are diverted to Olympic projects. They're concerned about the environmental impact of these massive construction projects and the displacement of communities to make way for Olympic venues. The long-term environmental degradation is a significant worry. The 2024 Summer Olympics bidding process was a prime example of this growing backlash. The intense scrutiny and public debate highlighted the shifting attitudes towards the Games. Several cities, including Hamburg, Rome, and Budapest, withdrew their bids after facing overwhelming public opposition. The citizens' voices were loud and clear, demanding a re-evaluation of priorities. In the end, Paris was awarded the Games, but not without significant local resistance. The decision was met with mixed reactions, reflecting the complex sentiments surrounding the Olympics. It seems the Olympics are facing a crisis of legitimacy. The once unquestioned prestige of hosting the Games is now under serious scrutiny. The Games, once a symbol of international unity, have become a lightning rod for discontent, highlighting the growing gap between the elite world of sports and the everyday realities of ordinary citizens. This disconnect raises important questions about the future of the Olympics and their role in our global society. Enjoyed learning why no one wants to host the Olympics? Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with more fascinating facts and stories from Danny's Mind Facts. Don't miss out.